This is my Winter Dot only Iron Man. Kind of. I've already spent three months at Winter Dot hunting the 1 in 10,000 Dragon Eggs, and I can't work on any other collection log page until I obtain it. 100 million fire making experience in, let's find out what happens next. Now join me as I take on the collection log once more, except this time I will do it one log at a time. This is extreme log. One thing I want to do is improve my farm runs a little bit and this is going to be the last time I probably check health on a tree in Teverly because I'm going to change my house to be in Ossidia so I can use the house teleport to go to the allotment there instead of going to this tree patch right here because I'm kind of running out of tree seeds anyways and since I'm about to reach 85 farming I don't really mind that much skipping out on one tree patch anyway so uh, we're gonna do that that's the first small improvement and once I do hit that 80 85 farming, I'll work on the other stuff I have in mind. And there we go, we've officially moved onto the lands of Zea, which I guess is thematic considering I've been spending most of my time there anyways. There is absolutely no way I just finished my farm run entirely and I'm 84 <laughs> XP short of level 85. What are the odds of that? Oh my god. I mean, we're pretty much 85. I guess all I have to do is compost two more patches and that will get us to the 85 farming right there. 85 farming! We have now been granted access to the farming guild high tier and we can grow torsal and access celestrous trees. Lovely! We are going to plant this spirit sapling and we pray to god it doesn't die <laughs> because I absolutely have no way to protect it. So uh, we're just gonna have the super compost do its job and hopefully that'll suffice. At the meantime, I'm going to work on the two other things that I want to do to improve my farm runs. One of those is getting 51 magic real quick, because I mean, I'm already very close. I'm pretty much 48, so that's three quick levels, which I can get in like half an hour of teleporting. And then we can unlock the um, RD teleport, so we don't need the fairy rings for that anymore. And then I also want to do Ghost Ahoy to get the Ectophil, so I don't need to use fairy rings for the Mauritania patch anymore either. And then I pretty much don't need fairy rings anymore, because I'll have a spirit tree here as well. And that'll make the farm runs a lot nicer, in my opinion. At the same time, I'm also gonna pickpocket some master farmers to get some seeds and start working on some farming contracts now that we have the hard ones unlocked as well. So a bit of a farming detour, but then it's back to Winterthur. To get the magic level, it's only 523 Camelot teleports, so we already have enough lar runes for that. I guess I'll have to stock up on some more very soon, but for now it'll suffice, so let's get the magic levels real quick. And there's the first one already, 48. And there's 51 magic. We have now unlocked the Ardoin teleport and we no longer have to use the fair ring to the Legends Guild. It's questing time! I need bones to get Ecto tokens and I was about to go and kill some goblins but then I remembered that I can get a champion's scroll from them so we're just gonna kill some men and women instead. Just to play it safe. And we even get a prayer level from that. Let's go 16 prayer. And there we go, ghost. Uh, glo ghost? Uh, ghost? <laughs> what the hell? Ghosts? Ahoy! Completed. We did it. Lovely. 21 prayer. We have the Ecto field to teleport to the Ecto Functus, and we can now use that for our farm runs. Beautiful. I was close enough to the crafting level. I figured I may as well just finish it real quick. There's the 60 crafting. Nice and round number. We always love to see that. And another skill that was already very close to a nice level is 70 cooking. So that is looking good too. I think now we're pretty much done with all the miscellaneous stuff and it's time to get back into the prison. Oh my god, I actually got another spirit seed while my first spirit tree is growing. So I guess if by miracle it actually doesn't end up surviving, because uh, I'm gonna try and pay much attention to it. We have another backup spirit seed to use as well, so that's nice. Okay, so as I said, I am going to do some master farmer pickpocketing so I can also start doing some farming contracts, which I kind of forgot a bit earlier. <laughs> but uh, let's see what I get from about an hour of pickpocketing these, I guess. I'm just gonna pickpocket and put all the seeds straight into the seed vault. And then we can see what the loot is gonna be like after an hour with 50 thieving and 85 farming. 
Ooh, we just got the first Limpward seeds on the account. If we can get some contracts going, we'll probably get a lot of those and we can start working on some secondaries for all the quorum we have in the bank as well. So that'll be a lot of Herbal XP coming in very easily once we do have some Limpwards to farm. Looking forward to that. So far, pretty rough though. The Master Farmer is knocking me out more than I can successfully pickpocket him, I feel. Definitely not ideal with 50 thieving. Just got some white berry seeds as well, which will be amazing for the Cadentine to make some super defense potions. Now, if only if there was also a way to farm Mordmire fungi instead of having to go and collect them in the swamp. Okay, it's not quite been an hour, but I spent about, you know, 50 minutes thieving the Master Farmer. Got two thieving levels from it, 52 now. And I, I went through my summon stack that I had in the bank uh, <laughs> that I had cooked so far. Uh, so we're gonna call it there and let's find out if we can actually do a contract. Hopefully we don't get scuffed by Jane giving us three different tree or fruit tree contracts that we can't do. But let's hope for the best and let's see if we can get some seed packs going that can give us a lot of other seeds that we can use as well afterwards. So here goes nothing. Guildmaster Jane, give me the first contract. Do you have any jobs for me? Please give me a hard contract and that is a... Celestris tree. Well, I definitely don't have that. <laughs> what, what do you mean Celestris tree? We are going to have to turn that one into something easier. Irrit. That's more like it. Okay, we can grow an Irrit and we can get our first seed pack from it. Let's go. Wow. Hey, Tome of Fire, number 14 on the account. There it is, 101 mil experience. Already checked the health from the white berry bush because I want to start farming these white berries as well. If I do get a contract for a white berry bush, I'll just replant it. But it's going to be nice to be able to stock up on some white berries to be able to make some super defense spots soon as well. Oh my god, I just woke up and little Jeffrey over here is diseased. That, that's what I named my spirit tree. But luckily we have secutors and we can save him. There you go, little buddy. Grow. Stage 4. Wait, state 4. Not stage 4. <laughs> Let's hope not. Ooh, just opened the seed pack and we got our first fruit tree seed. Some orange tree seeds. Lovely. And we get another Cadentine contract now, so we can do the herb patch again, which is very easy. Very nice. Didn't even realize, but I got some potato cactus seeds as well, so I'm gonna plant that one instead of the, well, dead normal cactus that I have here. We can start collecting some potato cactus as well, which will be some secondaries for herb lore too. The Spiromancer boots mark a beautiful milestone. When it comes to Pyromancer, that is 20 full sets now. Achieved. Maybe it means we'll get the axe from the crate we're about to get. Nope. Meow. Starting the day, 4100 winter dot KC. Oh my god, tome number 15 on the account. Hey, 4119 KC, 103 mil XP almost. I've been getting so many U seeds lately, actually. I feel like every inventory I get at least two or three U seeds. It's insane. 86 woodcutting. Yay. Yep. That's it. We, we got a woodcutting level. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can notice, but I'm running out of things to say here, okay? I'm just getting levels every now and then. That we're slowly working our way up on the KC and the farm fire making XP. There's not much more to say. You know, I've been stuck in this place for over three months now. It's getting to me, alright? My brain is starting to freeze. I'm having brain rot. I can't think anymore. All I do is chop logs, cut logs, put in fire, do it all over again the next day. And that's it. We're building our way up 76 construction. Wow, 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 wow. We can now put a mounted shark in our house. That's pretty cool. You know what I love to see? Other people rocking the Hornwood Helm. I feel like we're starting a little cult here, and I want to see more people at Winterdot using the Hornwood Helm. Let's get it going. Okay, I just checked the health because I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. But my spirit tree is now fully grown and we can start using this little fella to do our farm runs. So we don't need fairy rings anymore whatsoever. So that's pretty nice. He's a bit sad, but you know, he's got the spirit. Just realized I am now 120 fire making, as in the virtual level. So if this were RS3, we'd have a, a cool glowing cape now. Unfortunately, we don't have that on OSRS, so we can't show it off. But yeah, that's a lot of XP. 4,200 kill count, and we get the Dragon X right here. Boom! Never mind, it's a Pyromancer hood. Woo! Pyro boots. New Pyro set to trade in. Hey! 
I've actually been getting so many Snapdragon seeds recently, it's pretty wild. In the last like 400 crates, I've had 81 Snapdragon seeds and also 57 Renar seeds, so those are stacking up so nicely. By far the highest amount of seeds I get alongside the Torsal seeds as well, so... Pretty good to get those high quality seeds in every time. Here we go for another Hail Mary. No axe, but again, three more Snapdragon seeds. And there's 4,300 kill count at Wintertot. We get the Pyromancer garb. We keep moving. Mm, weird to think that we're already getting another fletching level here. As I'm about to call it a day at the office after another long, excruciating day of Wintertot. 91 fletching on extreme log. I was clicking away without realizing I was so close to the best agility level ever. 73. There it is. Oh my god, I got another phoenix. Uh, there's number four. There is phoenix number four at 108 million XP. Uh, which is... You know, <laughs> the collection grows, I suppose. Except we, we, we need this thing instead. Look at that, four phoenix. Oh boy. Oh well. And that is going to be 4,400 kill count. No dragon axe. Bow -da -bow -bow -bow. 110 mil fire making XP. Yeah, boy. Nice. Yo, shout out CW. Sure, I am. There we go. Apparently, he told his wife that he got the dragon axe before me. Lovely. That's going to be 4,500 winter dot kill count without the axe. Well, would you look at that bank value? 100 mil. Beautiful. I just checked as well. Just my burnt pages are worth over 11 million as well. And I haven't even changed all any of my tomes into pages. So I might as well just keep them. Because I mean, when, have I, when am I ever going to need this many burnt pages? Pretty wild to see. Oh, look at that. Just got another spirit seed. I, I forgot what the level is to get two spirit trees at the same time. But I guess if we get to 91 or at least close enough to boost for it, we could probably plant another spirit tree and then maybe use the one south of the Feldor allotment patch to get there earlier or easier. Wait, I'm stupid. I already had a second spirit seed. Never mind. Pyro boots. We have another set completed. How many are we up to now? I think it's 22? 22 full Pyromancer sets. Lovely. So I've just been informed by Mr. Seelog Opat that apparently the new some new items from the holiday event also count as warm items, including the slippers. So I'm gonna quickly do the event because I wanted to do it anyways to unlock the um, emotes as well. And then maybe we can switch up the fashion scape just a little bit because I mean, I st I'm still rocking the Halloween jumper and the pumpkin lantern and Halloween has been quite a while now. So maybe it's time to uh, change the attire a little bit. And that concludes the 10th birthday event, which was kind of lackluster. I mean, let's be honest, it wasn't really a great event. <laughs> but we, we got some emotes now. Yeah, woo! And of course, the amazing fashion scape where we can have jet slippers. Look at that! Oh my god. I'm gonna look for a good new setup with different gear. And I'll let you guys know once I've decided on what I'm gonna look like from now on. Well... This is the new outfit. Woo! I mean, I'm still gonna rock the ugly Halloween jumper because this is one of my warm items and I think it looks better than the Clue Hunter uh, top. So we're, we're just gonna stick to this. I picked myself up some nice new shorts to go along with the jet slippers and the jet plush. I think we're looking kind of spicy. Let's go back to Wintertot. Let's see if we can withstand the cold with our, <laughs> with our legs completely exposed. You know what's great? Once I do get the Dragon X and 60 attack, I suppose, I can now chop Redwoods. Because, uh, you know, with the Dragon X, I can, like, do the special attack and it's like plus three and then I'm 90 woodcutting and then I can chop red. I need the Dragon X. But hey, there's 87 woodcutting. And that is 4,600 Winter Tot kill count without the Dragon X. Decided it's time to use some resources again after hitting that KC milestone. So there's 61 crafting from cutting some gems again. I think we're about to get some herbal levels too. 
Woo! 66 Herblore, that means we can now make super defense potions. So now we can start using the Cadentines as well. Obviously, I have over a thousand Quarms and 600 Cadentines, but I don't quite have the secondaries for it just yet. They are just slowly stacking up, so it'll take some time and I don't think I have enough for another full Herblore level. But we'll still get like over halfway, I think. So, remember how I'm talking about, like, spirit trees and how it's easier to get to the farming guild, yada yada? I only just realized that I actually have the level requirements to build one in my player-owned house. Oh my god, how did I not even think about this? Wait, what about a fairy ring? I can build a fairy ring as well? Oh no, for the fairy ring you need to complete fairy tale part 2, which I don't have yet, but I could easily plant a spirit tree. Dude... Why have I not done this before? It's 75 construction, I'm almost 77 already. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I need a watering can. <laughs> and there it is, my very own spirit tree in my house. Look at how beautiful my house is. It's just... <laughs> it looks so stupid. I have my portal, and I have my tree. And that is all I really need. Now I can use this to go to the farming guild, and that is so nice. Oh my god. Oh, this is big. This is big! Ladies and gentlemen, a lock slot is about to appear in my inventory. I'm excited! Let's go! I'll help you, sir. I got you, don't worry. I will sort out your beehive in exchange for my final piece of the beekeeper's outfit. Uh, it kind of feels like a green log, you know? We'll never have to do the beekeeper event ever again after this one. There we go. Beekeeper's legs, 111 collection lock slots. And now the last random event we have to do once is mime. And then obviously the still beget remaining. 4,700 kill counts. Wait, pyro legs? Nice. I guess boots to go until another full set. Guys, watch this. Tangle root right here. Mm, never mind. 86 farming though. Let's go. I literally have seven law runes left in the bank, so it's time to risk everything. Risk the entire account. Let's go to the mage bank to buy some more law runes. The red helm remains for another day. Let's go. We completed another pyromancer set. Which, it doesn't really feel special anymore after all these sets, I'll be honest. Uh, it's not like it gets us any closer to being done with winter thought. Ooh, baby, 74 agility, very nice. We can now use the Lava Dragon Isle Lava Jump and the Mayor Ditch Laboratory something. I forgot what it said. Tunnels, maybe? I don't know, 74 agility. Look at that, 77 construction coming in. Just three levels to go until level 80. Will we get there? I mean, probably, right? We'll probably still be here by the time we reach level 80 construction. Probably even more than that. And just like that, we are halfway to the second 99 on the account. There's 92 fletching, we can now make dragon javelins and fletch redwood shields. And that's nice. <laughs> 92 fletching already, goddamn, just from Bruma kindlings. Ah, it's been a while since we've had a cool drop, but there is Tome of Fire, number... Um, 16, I, I think? Yeah, Tome of Fire 16. Decided it was time for another Herblore level as well. We were pretty close after cleaning some more herbs that I got from Winter Todd. Haven't really been keeping up with the farm runs, but I'll get them going back again. And that is 67 Herblore. We can now make Super Restore Mix and also clean Lantadime. So that's pretty nice. Another herb unlocked that we can now clean. This stack of Lantadime right here, 335 already. Up to 4,800 kill count without the axe. Pyro boots coming in again, so that means we are now up to 24 Pyromancer sets completed. No way! I <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> Phoenix number five. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have another one. <laughs> Man, <laughs> why does this keep happening, dude? Oh, if only we actually got extra phoenixes instead of just a free reclaim, but that is so stupid. Hey you, how about you click subscribe right now so we can get to 70k subscribers by the end of the month. That would be really cool. Thank you.
And we reach another XP milestone as well. There's 120 million fire making XP. We are now less than a no less than 900k XP away from the XP I have on my Zaya only Iron Man, who also just so happens to have seven Phoenix pets. So <laughs> soon enough, this will be my account with the highest fire making XP. Not quite yet, but almost there. And we're now up to 4,900 kill count without the axe. Pyromancer set number 25! Oh, look at that! Tome of Fire again! Hey! Watch this, guys. 5,000 Winter Tot kill count. What a nice round number to finally leave the prison with. Dragon X right here. Never mind. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sad. It's fine. 5,000 done, 5,000 more coming soon, I guess. We're over 14,000 loot rolls now, so over 4,000 over the drop rate. Not quite 1.5x yet. Yo, this is gonna play out perfectly at the end of the inventory. Look, last log, 88 woodcutting. Just two more levels until we unlock redwoods. Let's go. Beautiful. And we're now 5,100 kill count without the axe. 125 million fire making XP as well. Hippity hoppity, the dragon axe is not my property yet, but there's 75 agility, baby. Woo. Awesome. Ended up having just enough gems to also get a new crafting level on the account. 62, which gives us the ability to craft fire battle staffs, green dragonite shields, and split bark body and legs finally after all this time we can go and get ourselves the split bark body and legs i'm excited dome of fire wow number <laughs> number 18 uh, soon to have 20 of these little guys another dome of fire just before 5200 kc dome of fire N number 19 when will we see 20? Feels like it's been an eternity since we got the previous level, but there's 93 fletching just from cutting Bruma roots. Six levels to go until the second 99 on the account. Just another day at the office. 5,300 kill count. What do you know? 130 million XP in fire making, 70 million to go until we cap out. Lovely, awesome, let's keep going. Oh my God, I got another Phoenix. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Phoenix number six, Phoenix number six, just over 130 mil XP, yep. There's another one. Rip Brodio. He sacrificed himself so I can get the axe. I better get it this inventory now. Alright, Brodio, this one's for you, mate! God fucking damn it. <laughs> it didn't work. Man, I have been slacking on these farm runs. I should have had this a long time ago already. But anyways, here's 87 farming. Three levels to go until another level 90 skill. And I have plenty of tree seeds in the bank at this point, because I have been slacking, so... ADH shouldn't take too long if I keep up with the farm runs again. Here we go, 5,400 kill count. Without the Dragon Axe. And I am now also over 15,000 loot rolls, so that means we're 1.5 times the drop rate for the Dragon Axe. Oh, God damn it, dude! Man, I literally pulled up my recorder when I fixed the previous brazier because I thought I was gonna get the level and then I didn't. And then I actually fixed the next brazier without recording! I'm an idiot, but there's 78 construction. Bada bing, bada boom. And there it is, 5,500 kill count. Without the Dragon X. Who would have thought? Wait, whoa, 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 89 woodcutting, almost missed it again. Just one more level until we unlock Redwoods. And honestly, I've been thinking about this. I feel like it might be a good idea for me to go for the beaver pet. Um, well, not right now, but once I unlock Redwoods, you know, most of the days that I play this account, I just play it in the morning and the evening, and I don't play it at all during the day while I'm playing Generate Task. 
But if I have 90 woodcutting, I can very easily just AFK Redwoods on the side all day, every day when I'm just playing my other account. And I think that might be a pretty easy grind for the beaver that way, you know, over time, as long as I don't have the Dragon X, I suppose. So I think once I do hit 90, we might start doing that as well. And we can get a lot more woodcutting levels that way, probably get 99 very quickly too. Still getting some decent agility training in as well, even though I'm focusing on hopping worlds as much as possible, but there's 76 agility. No way! We got another phoenix! Oh my god, man! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I also got another pyro boot, so that's another pyro set. Man, that made me jump up. Oh my god, Phoenix number 7, Pyro set number 27. What is happening, dude? I've already had four Phoenix pets, I think, since I hit 100 mil XP. Four Phoenix pets in 36 mil, that is ridiculous! And to top it all off, why not? In the same, in the same hour that I got the pet and the pyro set, I get another tome. And I believe that that is a milestone because we now have 20 tomes of fire on the account. Uh, what a great way to end another day at Winterthal. <laughs> I'm just saying, that looks a bit silly. You know, that inventory looks a bit silly. Yeah, I can't wait to just have it filled with tomes only, just A to go. 5,600 kill count. We've got 10 crates in the inventory. Could one of these be the last one? Absolutely not. What, what was I even thinking? Why, why would I even expect the Dragon X at this point? I mean, it's just never happening, is it? I feel like I'm flying through this kill count lately. I've been getting like 100 kills every single day almost. Anyways, 5,700 and without the X. Yeah. Anyway, shout out these guys. Call me Nani, Alaskan Bread. Cap McCloud. Love it when people show their love for the series. Always nice to see. And with me keeping up with the farm runs, the level comes in much quicker, of course. There's 88 farming, two more until another level 90. And here's another level of turning raw tuna into cooked tuna. 71 cooking from only tuna. <laughs> so far, I've still been able to maintain myself just using the tuna, but I feel like I'm running low lately, so I might have to switch over to some salmon or lobster soon, but for now, we're still rocking the tuna. And also another crafting level, it's been a while, 63 crafting. We even have over 1000 diamonds in the bank now, 1500 rubies, 900 emeralds and 900 sapphires. Gaming dude, gaming. Soon enough I'll also start another herblore grind, because it's been a long time since I've done that to be honest. But I'm trying to stack up as many secondaries as possible to cover all the herbs I currently have. Um, so I can grind to 70 herblore in one go, so that's the plan. I'll do that once I have all of those in the bank. Woo! 94 fletching, baby! <laughs> Levels keep coming in. 826k until the next level. Hey, baby! Tome of Fire, number 21. Slowly building towards the full inventory. Well, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, there's 140 million fire making experience. Let's get to Dragon X. Maybe, maybe by the time we reach 150. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Another Pyromancer set has just been completed. 28. 5,800. Oh, I was just doing a farm run to close off the day and then the frogs came along and this is actually huge for the account. Because this is frog token number 10, baby. Let's go, the collection grows. Look at that, two digit frog tokens. <laughs> if only we can just get that mime mask as well. Something weird just happened. I, I got a banana tree seed. I took away this placeholder, I don't remember how long, I feel like it's probably been like a hundred million XP ago since I had the banana tree seed in my bank and I just got another one. This one is sacred, we, we must s keep it safe forever. Yeah, that's right, your boy's been farming. There's level 89, just one more level until level 90 already. Absolutely crazy, man. I am running low on seeds though, so I think it's gonna slow down a bit again until I can bulk up on those again from Winterthub, but level 89 is already so nice. Tome of Fire, number 22. Hooray! Come on, baby, 5,900. 
<sighs> Only disappointment. And there's the big 6,000 Winter Tot kill count without the Dragon X. This is truly a moment of all moments we are witnessing right here. 90 woodcutting from Winter Tot only. And also 1,250 total level. You know what that means? We can now actually start chopping redwoods when I feel like it. And I might be doing that. <laughs> so. The race between 99 fletching and woodcutting might be on from now on. And I'll probably also get myself a rune X in the woodcutting guild while I'm at it. So we're going to make an upgrade from the steel axe. Obviously, it doesn't matter here, but it's an upgrade nonetheless. 90 woodcutting achieved. Wow. All right, guys, it's time for a long overdue herb lore training session. We are close to 68 already. I think we might be able to hit 70 with the potions I have already. I don't have all the secondaries yet for the quorums. I have like half the limp words for that but i do pretty much have all the white berries to cover 1500 super defense potions so that's going to be a nice chunk xp alongside some herolander renar and irrit potions as well that i will have the secondaries for still have to get some chocolate dust for the herolander but that won't take too long at all so it's time to get 70 herb lore i think at least we'll get very close but i feel like we might just get it there's the first herb lore level 68 flying in Ayo, 69 herb lore. Nice. Can now actually make anti-fires already with land dimes, but I don't think I'm gonna be collecting blue dragon scales anytime soon. I do have potato cactus in the bank, but magic potions is level 77 or something, I think. What, what level is it? Uh, yeah, 76 to make those, so we are not gonna get there anytime soon, but we'll have them ready for the future. I think I might actually get a few more levels looking at it right now. And there's 70... Herblore. We can now clean dwarf weed and make strong gold proportions, divine, blah, 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 blah. Very cool. Level 70, looking beautiful. And we still have so many supplies left. That is at least two more levels right there. I think we're getting like halfway to 73 with these. So that is actually amazing. Definitely more than I expected. Plus, we still have all these quarm potions. And as I continue farming the limp roots, we'll get to 73 in no time, I reckon. 71 Herblore. Yo, 72 Herblore, that's gonna be the last level for now. Uh, we still have 370 super defense spots to make right now. That's gonna get us like halfway to 73, so that'll be it for this session. But that's five healthy Herblore levels coming in very quickly, so I'm pretty happy with that. Granted, I had been stacking up the supplies for that for a while, so we had it coming. Sake, of course I miss it. I was like, oh, just one more repair until I get a construction level. I repair and I didn't record it. Well, there's 79 construction. Just one to go until another level 80 skill. And left you... Yo! Pyromancer boots! That means Pyromancer set number 29 has just been completed. One more until the big 30. Cheeky X from the crate, perhapsingly. Never the case. Never lucky. Well, here we have it. Another big XP milestone, I suppose. We reached 150 million fire making XP. Yep. Three fourths of the way to 200 million, and for some reason I'm still doing. <laughs> for some reason I'm still doing this. Why am I doing this? Dragon X? No, of course no. Of course no. Of course no. Dragon X. Ah, uh, only 50 million to go until we max out fire making. Isn't that nice? We are also getting close to 95 fletching. We have 90 woodcutting. We're close to 90 farming. Almost 80 construction. 72 herb lore. You name it. We have everything. Almost 77 agility. And we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. There's no stopping us because we have to get the Dragon Extra Winter Tot. There's no way around it. No, I can't go to Dagonoth Kings. No, I can't just buy it from the GE. I'm an Iron Man and I'm locked to this place until I green log. Speaking of green, my cash tech is almost green. That's only... 84k to go until that bad boy turns into 10 mil, so that's pretty cool as well, I suppose. Uh, we'll just keep going, man. We'll just keep going. One day, the Dragon X will be ours. It'll be glorious. I'll get it tattooed on my left butt cheek to celebrate. But only if we get 5,000 likes on this video, so you better press the like button right now to ease my pain. Thank you. Here's the final stand at 150 million fire making XP. We're ranked 52. 
about 150k C away from reaching rank 50 and second page for Hardcore Iron Man. We're also ranked 70 in fire making, but there's only eight more ranks or so to climb there because there's 61 people with 200 million on the Hardcore High Score. So, yeah, that is, that, that is where we're at right now. Seven Phoenix, 22 Tomes of Fire, 29 Pyro sets, zero Dragon Axes. Soon, man, soon. Better be before 200 mil. Or else, I'm gonna be sad. And sad spelled backwards is das, and, and that's not good. So, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Subscribe!